Facebook threats against MP Ujo Dosanjh very seriously tonight. The comments are featured on a page entitled Ujo Dosanjh is a Sikh traitor. Eric Rankin has that story. The online threats are chilling. One stating, this piece of is a scumbag traitor and an insult to the Sikh religion. Another, he's betrayed his own people. The most menacing from London, England, now pulled down. Someone shoot him, ASAP. I was really um, shocked at the, at the violence and the hate expressed in some of the uh, postings. Police are taking the threat seriously. The Integrated National Security Enforcement Team launching a local and international investigation. If they're going to make uh, those kinds of comments, they have to be prepared that uh, there could be consequences. So Sanj believes the threat stemmed from last weekend's Visaki Parade. The Liberal MP criticized plans to include this controversial float, celebrating dead martyrs of the Sikh separatist Khalistan movement. The parade organizer warned Osange he should bring his own security if he showed up. The temple involved now says it had nothing to do with the online threats and condemns them. But there's a history. 25 years ago, Dosanjh spoke out against those celebrating the assassination of Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. It's an unfortunate act at the hands of Madden. A short time later, he was brutally beaten by an unknown attacker. Within months, Sikh extremism escalated internationally, culminating in the Air India bombing, a flight that originated in Vancouver. Dosanjh fears a new Canadian-born generation is now embracing violence. The kind of violence and hate that existed uh, in the 80s. Um, uh, is now perpetuating itself and regenerating itself in young minds and that is very dangerous for our country. Late today, BC's top lawmen also spoke out. I think it's disgusting, I think it's despicable and ultimately I think it's cowardly. The RCMP won't reveal what they're doing to ensure Dos Anjos safety other than to say that they're evaluating the potential threat on a day-to-day -day basis. Eric Rankin, CBC News, Vancouver.